hello guys you're welcome back to another video and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make commercial fish pies and please do not forget to subscribe everything i'll use as well as the measurements will be left in the description box and do not forget to check it out and so as you can see i have listed out my ingredients and i have here with me a very big bowl i have here with me my sieve because you need to sift your flour and I also have here with me some measuring cups and my eggs equally if you love to know what I'll use my eggs for let's go and so in a bowl I'm going to add in my flour and I'll sift it so that's why you can see my sieve there I'm going to sift this flour which is very much important I'm going to add in some salt and I'm not going to go too hard on my salt I'll add in my baking powder and i'm going to be generous with my baking powder and so i'll use two sachets of baking powder for this recipe i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you've never said you felt that way and guess you try to stay strong some nutmeg for flavor i really 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 love nutmeg i love the flavor it gives and so i'll be using it too you just want to make sure that you mix everything properly so everything is going to be even everything in this bowl is going to be even none will be concentrated so you have to make sure you mix properly and i have washed my hands already so always remember to wash your hands let's go in with our butter and that is why i did not go too hard on my salt because i am using salted butter and I'm going to use my hands to mash this up and it's going to give me this kind of texture. It should look like crumbs. Thereafter, I'm going to go in with my cold water. This water is very cold. That is why I am using it because I want a flaky pie. Not forgetting my eggs. And so I'll go in with two eggs at room temperature. My younger sister is helping me out. Thereafter, I'm going to mix and form this really good dough. It should look like this and I'm going to let my dough rest by keeping it in the fridge. Moving over to the filling, I have here with me my fish. I have here with me some tomatoes. And I also have here with me some onions and seasoning cubes. Carrots inclusive. I've shredded my carrots and this is actually what I'll be using. I'm going to actually transfer my fish into my pot. I love to go in with the head first i love to arrange my fish in my pot so that's what i'm going to do before i start seasoning it up we are going to go in with some salt this is because i really want this fish filling to taste and some water yes i'll go in with water I'll add in some onion, some pepper. I'm going to add in some dust pepper too. Thereafter, I'm going to adjust my seasonings by adding some Maggi cubes because I really want my filling to taste so nice. Thereafter, I'm going to cover and let it cook. As you can see, our fish is ready and I have taken out the bones. I'll transfer to a food processor with very little water and then I'm just going to blend it's not easy to blend it so if you cannot blend it you're going to mash it up properly so this is what we have in a pot i'm going to add in some oil thereafter i'm going to fry in my tomatoes and i'm not going to let my tomatoes fry all all in the sense that it is not going to get too dry i'm going to mix it up properly i'll just keep on stirring these tomatoes for five minutes once it releases its own water, thereafter I'm going to add in my seasoning cube, my powder pepper, and I'm going to stir this up properly. When it comes to commercial food or commercial snacks, you have to be careful. You do not have to put so much because there are some people who will not like some. So I'm going to add in my carrots now and my younger sister is helping me too while i film with one hand and i stay with the other hand so this is how bad it is when you do not have a tripod guys this is how bad it is and so i'm going to go in with all of my shredded carrots 
Thereafter, I'm going to add in my fish portion by portion. I do not want this to cook. I just want it to fry for some minutes. So that's why I'm adding my fish while my pot is still on the fire. So it is not going to stay on the fire. I just want to mix it properly and make sure that everything is okay and together before taking it down. So that is why it is still on the fire. You can do this process off your gas. I'm going to set out everything I'll be needing. I need some flour to dust my board, my pie cutter. I need my dough. I need my filling and I need my egg. That's what I'm going to use to be sealing my pie. So I'm going to dust my board properly with some flour because I do not want my dough to stick to my board. So I'm going to rub it generously and then i'm going to transfer my dough to my board use a knife to cut my dough i'm going to cut my dough into so many smaller sizes and this will aid me roll faster and this is actually going to aid me know how many pies i'll get from the dough so that is why i'm actually cutting it into smaller sizes because i want to do the maths <laughs> After cutting it, this is how much dough I have and you can see how soft it is. Thereafter, I'm going to dust my board again, dust my rolling pin and then I'm going to start rolling my dough one after the other. That is how I'm going to do it and I do not want it to be so light. This time around, it is actually thicker. I'm going to place it on my pie cutter and then as you can see i have here with me my fish filling i'm going to take some of my fish filling place it in the middle exactly in the middle i'm going to use some egg white to seal up the edges you can actually whisk the yolk too you can actually go in with water too but i'm going to use my egg white and with the help of my brush i'm going to seal up my pie properly and so as you can see the stock that we've seen on the board makes you understand that i went in with so much filling so we are actually going to reduce the quantity of filling that we are going to place in our pies and let us seal again we are going to seal with our egg white 
we are just going to brush it round and then we are going to cover our pies and open here you get the magic and for the second time you are a champion can you see how good it looks for most cases if it is so difficult to take out the remaining dough you can use your knife to cut it and for the third time you are a champion take a look at this this is the authentic party size so this is it i had a total of over 60 pieces of fish pie so this is how it looks and it is actually ready for baking let us bake our pies i'm going to grease my pan with butter dust it with some flour because i do not have a baking sheet or parchment paper so that is why i am using butter and flour so it does not stick to the pan thereafter i'm going to add in some milk to my egg wash that was left and i'm going to use it to glaze my pies this actually makes your pies look so good i mean they are shining they will shine shine as bright as the sun so you should always try to glaze your pies so they are going to have a bright looking color here i have preheated my pot which is my oven at this point and do not forget to vent holes on your pies that is to release the air in them and this is when it was 30 minutes into the baking process and this is the final process i baked my pies for one hour because i was using the fireside the traditional method of baking and as you can see here is the goodness the goodness of this recipe let me know in the comment section if you try this recipe out and do not forget to subscribe don't i deserve it i do give this video a thumbs up like and i'll see you guys in my next video bye